<laughs> All right. So um, you're doing this tour. Is it a little weird to be with the other four uh, former cont- contestants, seeing as though you're the one who won? <laughs> like, is it do do they make it a little weird for you? Or no, is it not all, really. Is it all good. I mean, we we all got to the point. Once you get to top five and you're around each other for that long and you share that experience with somebody, um, you know, we, we I think by the end we were happy with w- whatever the outcome was. I mean, everybody was, uh, you know, everybody wanted to win. Every, it was a competition, but at the same time, we really were close. I used to watch those shows and be like, they're faking it. Now they're all nice. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way they're actually happy for that right. person. But when you do share that experience, we always just wanted whatever happened. We just you know, because it's out of your hands. It's a vote. So, I mean, we were just hoping that everybody did as well as they could when they were up there singing. So we're all very good friends. And we've, to be honest, I, I was, you know, we, we got, we haven't, you know, we're all on one bus and right. nobody's fought yet. So that's impressive. <laughs> that, that is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, so we're in the middle of the American Idol auditions. I think they might have maybe two more places to go um, right. before they start, you know, taping the show. Mm-hmm. What advice do you have? Um, not only just from winning American Idol, but you've done this reality television right. thing before. Mm-hmm. What advice do you have? Um, well, I personally think besides you just need to, you know, you need to obviously have a lot of talent. You need to blah, 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 all this stuff. I mean, the bottom line is it's, it's, I think personally, it takes a lot of luck as well as a lot of talent as well as a lot of experience and everything. But, um, besides that, I mean, I would go in just being yourself. Don't try to act any differently because you're on TV or try to create this thing that you're not just go in. If, if, you know, the only way it's going to work is if, you know, you are who you are. Right. You have to have a lot of confidence. I talked to, uh, you know, somebody that worked on the show, a high up producer, and pretty much they were saying like they kind of almost know who they're going to let through prior to even hearing them sing sometimes. Wow. Just due to how they carry themselves, their their confidence. And so that's a big thing. Always be on your game the whole time, regardless if you're just waiting in a line or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, and also song choice is huge. Make sure you pick a song that like gets to the, the big chorus quickly. Right. And, you know, the, the song choice is really important. And also I think you... Uh, J-Lo was a big fan of you. Yeah. So, it, I mean, it also helps if one of the judges, you know, <laughs> is de- basically co-signing you. Um, <laughs> did you, were you invited to her birthday party? I wish, man. I tried oh, to get in. On. They wouldn't let me in. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you, let's talk about this music. Um, sure. You're in the process of writing for this upcoming album. Mm-hmm. How many songs are done? What are we waiting for? Sure. Um, well, like I said, we, we finished the show ended May 13th. I started writing with some people uh, right off the bat, which is good that Scott's allowing me to kind of get in there with all of the writers and, and, and be a large part of it because he saw that I've been doing that for a while now with my band. We had a lot of uh, you know original music out. So um, right now, the biggest issue for me is trying to find the right sound. You know, I don't want to do exactly what I was doing with my band. I want there to be a transition because this is what it, that's what it is. You right. know, it's a new thing. So it's kind of like trying to find the right sound and, you know, I was talking to Andy Grammer recently and he was talking about how he wrote like 101 songs for his album mm-hmm. and they picked 12. Wow. You know, right now yeah. I've written, I think we've done like 16, 17 in the last month. You know, we need a lot more than that to kind of be able to weed out what we think is sure. the top thing. So that's really what the what it is right now. We have a bunch of demos, like 16 or 17. I want to have at least, you know, trip uh, at least double that and and hopefully a little more you know but and then you know we'll sit down in a room come up with what yeah. we think is the strongest and then hopefully they're they're very strong right <laughs> who do you want who what uh artists would you like to have on this album oh man would you like to make a song with oh that's tough girl or guy doesn't matter um, i'll let you choose well, now you have it in my head. You're talking about the Taylor Swift thing. Throw her on a song, I mean, right? I that'd be Jeez. awesome, wouldn't it? I feel like you could just do any song and put her on and it would be a hit, right? It'd be, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Just, and again, nonsense song. Again, <laughs> you and Scott, um, you know, he's he's your boss or your manage, management, rather. No, he's my boss. He's your boss. Okay, he's your boss. Even better. And he knows Taylor Swift. Why yeah. hasn't this happened yet? I mean, I know. you know, her tour is going on until... She's like her own one. boss, I feel like, at this True. point. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, I'm sure her no, number totally. is still the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I don't know. We'll see. But um, and I was talking about Andy Grammer too. Me and him, we actually performed on the finale together, right. and uh, he's like a really nice guy. We have similar kind of uh, styles in in songwriting and performing and stuff. So that would be cool. I'd like to write with him, maybe do a song. And his his new song is blowing up, which is awesome. He's like yeah. couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Right now, when can we get this new music? Um, well, the single is out right now, which is right. my Coronation song, uh, right. Beautiful Life. So you can get that right now, and you could pre-order the album at my website as well at nickfrediani dot com. Um, I don't. We don't have a definitive date for the album yet, um, but there will be a new single coming out before the new year, I believe, and then uh, the the album will be coming out shortly after that.
Awesome. We look forward to all the new music. Thanks, for and uh, we miss. We wish you, of course, uh, a whole lot of success. Thanks, man. And uh, congratulations on winning American Idol. Thank you. Hopefully, you didn't spend all the money you won, <laughs> or you know, if no. you did. Yeah, if I did, then I had a good time. <laughs> right. Right? Yeah. Exactly. It's Nick Fradiani. He is the season fourteen winner of American Idol. Expect some new music, of course, coming in the near future, and, and his single, "A Beautiful Life." Yes, sir. Is available now. And where can people get in contact with you? Um, I mean, I'm I'm really active on all my social media, so on um, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and everything. It's just all at Nick Fradiani. Uh, you can find it all there. Awesome. It's Nick Fradiani, everybody. There we go. Thank you.